Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Chandler County. So, I have finally, this, okay, this, this right here, honestly, took me an hour and a half to make this look remotely the way I wanted to. And, my god, I thought I would never get it, but I finally got it. So, what I've done is I have condensed down the double rail track to a single wide rail track. Now, yes, I know, not efficient in terms of city skylines, but it's what I am used to seeing here in the US. We don't have a lot of double rail lines. So I've condensed this down to a single line rail track. Now it does double, it does extend out to the double. And then I'm I actually, I need to redo this whole thing right here because it's kind of, it's gotten a little wonky. Um, but I, and actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and fix this. Let's just go ahead and fix its monstrosity. Let's get this the way it's supposed to be real quick. Okay, that's a little bit better right there. I think I like that just a touch more. Um, so yeah. Brought that over into a single line until it gets over here to the cargo station, uh, the old cargo station, and then it goes into a double. And it's going to stay as a double because, again, over here, we're going to make a rail yard. So this right here is perfectly fine for how this looks. And then, of course, it's a double over here as well. And I, again, I'm OK with that. The other thing I did was I lowered it down a little bit back here. So what I did was I actually selected all the nodes up to about here to our at grade crossing and i set them all to that height this way it's completely level and flat all the way down which again is kind of what rails typically do they are usually very very flat they they you know they will raise the terrain or lower the terrain however they got to do it to make the rail as level as possible so that is what i have done the other thing i did was used imt and that is intersection marking tool to go in and add in a bunch of stuff on the edges and really kind of spice uh, spice up, spruce up the edges of it. I looked at a lot of rail lines around my town and some other towns to see what does the side of just a rail line going through a town look like. And it's typically very unkempt, very, very ugly. Um, it's uh you know it it does go right behind some houses i can i could show you some pictures and there's there's actually i feel bad for these people and i don't even know who they are obviously but they live like a mile and a half from my house and i was looking at the rail line that goes through my town and the road kind of does this number and there's literally a house and i would say their front this they have the the the, the entrance to their house is on the side it's a house kind of like this, you know, it's just a small little box home. The entry, the doors on the side, and I'm not even joking you, the railroad is like right here. I mean, it is right on top of them. And they just got a bunch of trees and bushes and just, it's it's not very well kept. It's, it's like this. It's just a bunch of brush trying to block the railroad, which, I mean, good luck blocking, you know, the, the noise from a rail line when you live right on top of one. So I have gone through and I've kind of made it look similar to this, you know, similar to the rail lines I see. Um, there's a lot of dead space on each side, obviously from the, you know, the rail puts out a lot of heat and everything, I'm assuming. And it, it, the most of the grass right around it is very dead or dying. And it's just, uh, it's overgrown. They come through with bush hogs and they bush hog it down. And it's usually not very pretty. So that's kind of what I've done. Just made a very rough, a rough look to it right down through here. So what I want to do is carry this look all the way down through here. And this is done. I have it set for a preset and it's all I've got to do now. Oh God, I cannot tell you guys. I can't, I can't stop extolling the, the uh, beauty of this mod. It's just, look, it's, I'm done. My, my detailing is, is done. My rail lines are finished. It's all pretty. Uh, looks like I've got a few odd spots that I may have to come back and clean up uh, because the road narrows. 
but those are easy, easily fixed once I come through here and do it all. So we'll at least get it all in place. Then we will come back and fix it up afterwards. There we go. Okay. So it's all fixed. So now we've got a nicely detailed rail line coming through the city. Now, what do I do about how it's clipping over onto everything? Well, that's actually the easiest part to fix right there. What we'll do is we'll come down to where it starts, and it looks like it's starting to clip over really right here. So it looks like what's clipping over is that big filler grass. So I want to come to that filler grass. There it is right there. What I think I'm going to do... Oh, I got to select the correct side. It's this side, not that side. And I'm going to shrink down the scale of it. Okay, then I want to raise it up just a touch. And then we're going to... Step is fine. Move that in. What I want to do now is copy that. I think I actually want to apply that everywhere. So we're going to do that all on all of these right here. Copy and paste those changes. All of this. And that will fix up. Hopefully fix it up. I may have to do a little more fiddling with it. But this is so much easier than how we've always had to do it in the past. But that's, you know, placing everything by hand and having to mess with it by hand. Okay. So that mostly gets it. And, you know, I'm okay with a little bit of it growing over onto the edge. Because it makes it look like, you know, maybe the, uh, the grass isn't... You know, the sidewalk may be a little messed up or something. So that's not too bad right there. It might be a little wooly on this a little more wooly on this side than i like so i may go back and change it now the only thing i don't like is it doesn't look bad from angles but what i don't like is when you look at it straight on because the way imt does is it does make a line so it has created a line of this mixed grass and so it looks like a, a nice perfect line right there and i'm not not really loving that. Hmm. I mean, there are ways to fix that. Going down through here real quick and just finished fixing up. See, this one right here is actually going down a little bit too far below. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. There, that's a little bit better. It does create some repetitiveness that you can easily see, and I don't like seeing that repetitiveness on the edge right there. So what we're going to do is actually come in with some regular grass and hand place some stuff, hopefully to break that up a little bit. Having some stuff, having a few different colors kind of breaking up how that looks. Yeah, it kind of throws in a bit of randomness that takes your eye away from how that right there is looking. Uh, now, I could do this with IMT as well if I wanted to. I can do this with IMT. The way I would do that is okay. Let's take let's take a side right here, and we'll show that real quick. What I can do is we can go down, maybe right here. Let's start on this side. So there's the mixed grass right there. Instead of seventy five percent, let's put it at fifty percent. Okay, that's fine. Then we're going to copy that. We're going to add a rule. We're going to put it back in there. But then we're going to offset this one right here. Uh, let's see. Maybe to back there. Actually, no, it's too far. Maybe to right there. 
offset that one a little bit. Now, there's a bit of randomness to them. And there's two different styles, and there's a bit of randomness. Uh, what I can do also is change the step in between. That way they don't all line up perfectly. And it changes that, it changes that look of that right there completely. I think that looks a little bit better. So I'm going to copy that. And we're going to come down to all of our sections. And we're going to copy that uh, setup over onto all of these. Okay, that broke that up a little bit, gave it some randomness to it. Uh, I will go back and do the other side and change that up a little bit and give that some randomness too. May I, I may decrease a little bit. It's starting to look a little woollier than what I wanted to. So I may actually go back in and make some further adjustments to it. Um, and maybe add in some of this greener stuff as well so it's not completely dead up on the edges. So uh, uh, I'm going to go back in and make a few more adjustments to it later on. But again, you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give it some character going down through here. So it looks a little more interesting than just, you know, plain old boring, you know, this. I'm trying to make it look a little better than just plain old boring that. Although sometimes I do get ahead of myself and I go a little overboard. And then all of a sudden it's a jungle. Oh, and I don't want it to be a jungle. All right, I want to use our tree brush tool here and uh, make sure that is turned off. And we're going to just paint some trees in here on the edges of this. Nice and thick back in here behind the uh, trailer park. Not right there, though. Just right there. Into right there. And then over here, I'm going to do some right up along the edge like that. Okay, good. I love that tree brush tool. It is uh, it is like a godsend. Okay, so there is the start. Oh, see, now with the trees, that actually looks really good. The trees actually kind of help break it up. And so it doesn't look nearly as bad. Yeah. I can go and make a few small adjustments to it, and I think we'll have a pretty good-looking rail line over here. So I'm really, really happy with how this is starting to turn out. Uh, with a lot more detailing to do, I'll uh, likely be doing that on a stream here very soon after this video goes out within a couple of days. We may just do a whole lot of detail work around our rail lines and finish working on that. But today, I want to address some of our needs. We have a lot of needs right now for commercial and industry and i'm going to do some zoning i know it's been a while since we've done just flat out zoning but we're going to do some just standard old zoning right now uh i am going to break some of this right actually no we're going to leave elizabeth square uh i've been working on a, a couple of themes and stuff right there right now and i do want to get this american commercial oh not all buildings are loaded interesting happened ah okay these are not in there that's okay make sure the rest of them are okay yeah so i've been working on some themes for all of this right here uh trying to get the ones in here i want um uh, this has most of them in there uh most of the ones i'm wanting in there but it's got a few extras so let me go check the theme real quick and i want to get a theme set up real fast for how i want this area right here to come together so hold on just a tiff okay i have a new theme set up i want to see if it's going to work the way i'm hoping it works i have no idea it's probably not going to work the way i want it but we are definitely going to give it a shot i have it set up with very particular building styles that i'm looking for and if all goes well, then I should get similar, you know, some some decent looking um, strip mall type setups and everything. But God only knows what it's going to do <laughs> because because City Skyline sometimes likes to throw you for a loop. 
Right, we're going to just kind of toss down a few spots right here for some commercial. Now, I am going to hand place some stuff. Some stuff will get hand placed. Such as, I do want to put in uh, some gas stations. We have a couple of new gas stations assets that I have gotten uh, lately that I would like to use. This Esso gas station, for example, would be really, really nice somewhere. I think he would be really nice right there. I had seen a few people talk about maybe having a, a gas station near the like in the parking lot of the home depot or on the edge of the home depot we're gonna put it right there and i may make a few adjustments to it here shortly to see what i can't come up with on it and you know now that i think about it hold on i'm already going to we're gonna to nip to nip this in the bud i've already made it i've already made a, a change to how i want something to look Already made a slight change to how I want a few things to look. I think I want to continue on with this idea right here. Although those are getting the parking lots in front of them. Mm. That makes it a little more interesting. How it's doing that. See, my plan, and I didn't think this all the way through, my plan was to maybe create some little... Wow, that's sticking up right there. Uh, that's just all going downhill, basically. All it, all it amounts to. Anyways, my plan was to uh, z create some parking lots and then zone along them. But it doesn't look quite right when the buildings are parking in front of them. Um, and a lot of these buildings do have parking in front of them because, you know, that's just kind of how the game game works. They have parking because they assume that you're just going to zone them on the roads. And not in their own little private areas. Everything is uh, kind of in a spot here, isn't it? No? What's up with the terrain over here? Let's take a look real quick before I... Before I go any further, not too bad, really. It's just a few, few, a few little bumps and stuff here and there. Not bad. A few odd spots. That's fine. I think I'm going to terminate that connection right there. I want to, I want people to come out here instead of using that as a as a primary connection. I don't want them coming up through there. Probably end up taking out these houses right here as well later on. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. I know what we're going to do. We're going to do something that is not common where I live. But it is common in many, many places, and that is an access road. Going to do an access road on the side. Again, this is not something that I am used to seeing uh, in my area of the U.S., but I know it's something that is very common in many other places, is as access roads. Access roads are simply roads that are along the, that follow along the main road and provide... Uh, access, as it were, to... Come on now. Come on along. You can do it. And provide access to um, businesses and everything without interrupting the main flow of traffic. So I think that is what we are going to try and accomplish here. I hope. Uh, what I am going to have to do is, unfortunately, take out this uh, little apartment complex I built right here. It's fine.
We'll put an apartment complex in elsewhere later. Okay. So we're going to start a little access road right there. And I think we will carry him on up. Go freeform here. Bring it to right there. I don't know how the game is going to act with this. I have seen people do access roads, but I honest to God have never sat and finished watching them to see if it actually works. So I have no idea if this is actually going to work or not, or if I'm totally screwing myself over here uh, with the traffic flow. Because I see people all the time in my comments. They're like, oh, you have strodes. Don't do strodes. And you know, strodes are a thing. You know, I'm in America. Strodes, strodes are a thing. We ha we have that here. Um, yes, it's not pedestrian friendly. Yes, it's not. It may not be the smartest idea in the world, but you know it is what it is around here. Um, I don't know. We are going to give this a shot and see if this right here works. Take out that, and then let's zone in some commercial back here along our little access road like that I'm actually going to take out that one little bit right there so I can extend my zoning over to there yeah we'll do that okay Okay, cool. Again, no idea how this is going to work. May not work at all. One thing I do make sure, one thing I definitely do need to do is tell these guys right here uh, I need yeah, this. Don't want them crossing on that end right there. Uh, they can cross there, they can cross there. I don't want them crossing there. Don't want them crossing in those areas. The so they can cross there, they can cross there, they can't cross there, they can't cross there. There, there, not there. Okay. Should be it. I hope. <laughs> Guess we'll find out soon enough. All right, so they are building their businesses now. And I do want to provide some parking back here. We're just going to do some regular old parking lots. I'm not going to get all fancy with the parking. I'm just going to do some regular ploppable parking lots. Thought I had, oh, there it is, a two by four. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I know I've got a 2 by 4 parking somewhere. Don't know where it went. Right there. We're just going to snap some of this right here into place. For some parking options for these people over here. And we'll just see how this right here develops and how this right here looks. I can't do anything right there because of how the game handles uh, nodes. Uh, but what I can do is... And we will check to see if it's remotely centered up. It almost is. Okay. We'll go like that. Because I can't sit and plop every single thing. I would be literally spending the next 20 years of my life uh, plopping buildings down to try and meet demand uh, since I am playing for the simulator. Uh, now, if I was just building a city for the sake of uh, detail building only, I would not be worrying about the uh, simulation demanding commercial. But since we are also playing for the simulator itself, 
then I can't sit around and plop everything. I do have to rely on zoning. So we are going to give this a good shot to see if it works pretty well. I have no idea if it will or not. We're going to find out together. And so far, it seems to be working okay. So far, it seems to be working all right. Uh, I do want another gas station. Um, I think a gas station right here would actually be perfect. Some people have talked about maybe having a gas station right near the Home Depot, and I think this would be a good spot for one. You know, and so far, I'm liking it. It's... Uh, with the right amount of um, theme usage. Now, it's not perfect. And it's not always pretty. But it seems to be working. Why are you oddly off-center? That was weird. I think it was oddly off-center. All right, so I think I'm going to be okay with how this right here is going to work. So I think we're going to stick with it. We're going to stick with this idea of doing ploppable stuff back here. Uh, not ploppable, but um, grown, grown stuff. Grown and utilizing uh, maybe some l these little access roads and some ploppable parking lots just to keep it looking interesting. You know, and I can I can move stuff around obviously as as necessary, um, especially moving these things back to where they don't take up too much room. And they line up a little bit better with everything. That's something we can do. Yeah. No, because as much as I want to do, I, I really want to do a full hardcore realistic detail build but at the same time you know I, I just don't have time for it you know I, I've got a I got a massive city to build here and I've got so many things that have to be done and I just can't do it all if I only rely on plopping every single building by hand so we are going to have to make a few allowances for uh, changing up how I do some stuff now, both sides of the road probably won't get a lot of commercial. Again, this is not a massive city, but we do want some commercial. Now, over here, I think we're going to do a very similar thing. I think I want to bring this small road right here out. Up two units. And then over to here. Now this is going to make this right here nightmare. We'll have to bring that out just a little bit more. Now we should be within the same same district still. Yeah, we're still in the same district, so that is good. And we'll just zone that right there up to this part. I really need to figure out where those parking that parking stuff is at. Uh, is it? Oh, here it is. It's right here. Okay, cool. Oh, and it's already uh, taking it up. Okay. What I can do is this. And then drag it out. Uh, you know what? I don't like that. I think we'll put some landscaping and some trees in between that. Now, for the side of the Home Depot right here, I don't think I'm going to put anything over there. Home Depot is going to want some visibility to their uh, to their store right there. So I would imagine that they would not want any businesses built up right here. Uh, so instead, we'll probably just do a bit of landscape right there. So let's look for I've got I've got some grass that I could possibly use. Some nice actually ooh, wait a minute i've got some other grass Look at that i don't remember what this looks like ooh. that's a big old thing of grass isn't it this is meadow grass that's almost that's way too green for me oh that is i think that's just way too green i can't go that green 
Yeah, I want to use some of these grassy cows, I think, maybe. You know what? I'm curious. How will this right here look? If you're curious how I'm doing this, I'm using move it and then using the left and right um what even the, the the period and comma keys. That's what I'm using. The period and comma keys. Use those and then you can increase and decrease the size of anything of uh decals and stuff like that. So if I did that, kind of flip them back and forth a little bit so they aren't looking exactly the same. But still kind of with the same lines going in the same direction. Maybe like this. Hey, that's actually not bad at all. Uh, a little few tiny minor adjustments. I think that will be all right. Yeah, that's actually not bad right there. Gives it a nice... Okay, it disappears at, <laughs> when you get too close to it, but uh, that's just because of what I did. You know, I, I'm forcing it to be a size that it doesn't want to be, so it's not happy with me. But it's okay. We can We can live with it. And then maybe just, you know, a, a couple of the occasional tree. S a few small trees here and there in the area. Still don't know why my stuff wants to float like that. It does drive me bonkers. Oh, whoa. Get back over there, you. Alright, and then I want to do just a few bushes leading up into it. That side. Then a few bushes over on this side. I could do this with IMT, and I probably will go back later and actually replace these hand placed bushes with IMT. That way it doesn't uh, use up, you know, tree limits and stuff like that. There we go. That's pretty decent. Not too bad right there at all. I think I want to do something right here. Got what we got. But these little bitty bushes. Oh my goodness. That's the tiniest little bush. Why do I have that little bitty bush? That's insane. Actually, I know what I need. Need to go back to our grass assets. Add a few touches of some thicker grass, maybe up underneath a few places. Along the edge. Oh, not that one. Not that one, please. Yeah. The. Okay. What are you? What, what's what's happening here? What's happening here? It's losing its mind. I think it's because of that decal. I think the decal is making it lose its mind. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to stop because it's uh it is going nuts here. Let's pause for a moment here. So yeah, I like that. You know, very simple. Again, I, I don't want to fill this thing in completely with a lot of stuff. Um, I would normally see a lot of stuff all over the place. You you do see a lot of grass, and yeah, that's what I was afraid of right there. They are not liking this at all. Figured they wouldn't. 
think they're okay with it now. Yeah, they're they're okay with it now. But yeah, I yeah, I know. Driving down like highways and stuff, you do see a lot of just grass on the side of the roads. You know, there's there's not there's not there's not buildings everywhere. Now, right here, I would probably actually see maybe some mulch. So let's do that. Actually, I want to do those blocks. Bark. Actually, what is that? Not that. That. Oh, it's done messed up. There it goes. Is that mulch? Oh, it's the large one. Okay, it's the large one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I probably would see maybe some trees that have some mulch around them on the edge right there. That I would see. That I can see. As for the trees that are in it, It's going to be really annoyed about it. Medium-sized tree. Man, you are just having a hard time, aren't you? There we go. Regular crown? I don't really much care for that one. Street trees are a little small. Yeah, maybe something like these. Go. Maybe something like that along the edge right there. There we go. I, I think that there will do it. Oh, I just love that. That just looks great to me. Okay, so now I just need to finish kind of fixing up a few other odd and end spots right here. I think we will be good to go. I want to bring out this... Um... Concrete. Couldn't think of the word concrete or pavement or whatever you want to call it. Bring up that pavement a little bit just to give the people coming out of the car wash a way to drive through. Now, this spot right here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Don't know why I have that there, to be honest with you. I have one over there. Oof. Oof. It's, it's getting late. I'm getting very tired. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of a fast forward here and let's get in and let's finish filling in some uh, commercial uses along the side right here. Uh, oh, I don't know what to put right there yet. That's just a big, awkward, empty space. That I don't know what to do with. What if we do this? Go here? Where did you go? Can, can you go here? <gasps> Although Home Depot is not known for sharing their parking lot with other... Well, I mean, sort of. In a way, they will, but not totally. But I definitely want him... I would want him facing the main road right here. Sure. Now. Who can tell me down in the comments what this building is? Bonus points if you can tell me what that building is down in the comments. All right, so we are actually are going to steal a bit of their... Uh, I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to take me forever to get it laid out. Uh, but we are going to steal a bit of their parking lot and bring that over in front of this building right here. And that's going to fill in this little section right here. Um, it is a little closer than what I would have wanted. So maybe we'll bring you in to the edge a bit more. Yeah, there we go. And I'll, I'm going to have some landscaping and stuff. Got a little funky right there with the terrain. I have to work on that. But yeah, we're going to add a small parking lot right here in front of him. That's going to fill in that corner. Uh, this corner over here is going to get... This... You're going to get some commercial along you there and there. Now, this is a different region over here or a different district. 
This is the Green Hills District. So I want to come in and set the theme for him to be uh, American Strip Mall as well. Oh, that just, I, I just keep looking at this. I just, I just absolutely love how this right here looks. I like that. I love being able to make those grass uh, decals a lot bigger. It just makes it look so much more realistic. All right. Now over here is probably just going to be, and I know some people are going to be, oh my God, I can't believe he did that. Uh, I'm just going to come down and bring our, our homes down here a little bit and then 90 it in over here. We're going to fill this back in here with homes. Uh, I don't think you're necessary anymore. I think we I think we've got plenty of power everywhere. Uh, I'm just going to fill him in with homes there and there and then some right along back in here. And then the rest of this is going to get filled in just with trees. Just going to be trees. Again, this is something you would typically see in these areas of uh, the big box commercial would be backing up into an area and then between it and the homes, it would just be a lot of, you know, trees. This out here actually might just be a big empty field. And speaking of fields, I just remembered that I downloaded a new set of decals ripped from Earth. Ooh, from Earth. Ripped from Google Earth. Check out these decals right here. There's a ton of them. Oh, man. I don't even know what that is. It's like an old stadium track. There's some forest floor. Now, they don't look amazing up close. Uh, they did say that. that. Don't look at them too closely. But from far away, they do look pretty nice. And they got some interesting ones. Uh, so much so that I think maybe let's try this. We're going to have a field right here. Let's try that out. I know I said we we're going to fast forward. And I was going to fill in and here I am not doing that. <laughs> it happens. It happens, guys. Okay. Oh, they got like mountain tops. Put this on a mountain. Oh, they're so cool. They're just so cool. Um, I'm in love with stuff. I love stuff like this. Okay, let's do that. Let's hit move it. Let's downsize it. Maybe that. I, I don't know if I can. Can I hold alt and it don't? Go, OK, I can't. I can't hold alt and it goes any slower. So I can't do that. Um, so that's about as small as I can make it, it looks like. I like that one or not. Had some other ones here. I'll look at some of these others. They're just big empty fields, really, is all it comes down to. They're just big empty field plots. Kind of cover up the edges a little bit on it. I have no idea how this is going to look, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of winging it with these, these new decals. Definitely interesting. Not sure if I'm sold on it yet or not. Um, definitely interesting. Let's uh, increase that size down here. Try to fill in the edges a little bit more. Don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I'm going to like it just because it's uh, it, it clashes so much with the surrounding area that it's not it's not jiving with me. Uh, it's got some others that I may try and use later, but I don't, right now I don't think I'm going to try and Make it work. We're just going to fill in with trees right now in these areas. And I will clean up back behind these and make some back areas for all of this right here later on as well. Uh, but for right now, we'll just kind of, again, just, just fill in with some trees back there. All right. Get back to play. Because I need to let stuff grow. 
Also going to dezone some housing right here. I think I'm just going to dezone all of this housing right here. Just get rid of all that. Get rid of that one. Because I'd like to make uh, some parking on the back side of this. Let's so say the two by four. Before parking back behind it. Nice. And uh, we'll add a few little trees or bushes or something right there to give them some separation from that. Turn our anarchy back on. Yeah, that'll work. That's that's not what I wanted. I wanted a regular bush. There it is. Let's uh, ease that in a little bit better. There, <laughs> their gr their grill is up in it. I'm all I'm I'm literally all up in their grill right now, guys. I'm legitimately all up in their grill. But you know what? You'll never notice it. Okay, so we've got stuff being built. This thing is like really oddly off center, and I don't like it. I hope it gets replaced soon. It looks like it's going to get replaced, so that's that's fine. Okay. Well, it's coming. To, it's coming to like together. It's coming along. Traffic is moving along nicely. Oh, I do want to show you guys. However, um. Actually, what is traffic at? 72%? Oh, yeah, this right here is getting pretty rough. We're going to have to work on that. I have worked on our transit routes a little bit. Last thing I want to talk about. I've worked on our transit routes. We're at 700 people per week using transit. Again, it's not great, I know. But, you know, it's it's better than what I normally can accomplish. And these guys don't have any water. Probably want to give them some water. Um, it's not amazing, I know. But it's better than it was um, I've made two new big old routes, uh, one going over here and one coming over here. And then I made a fun route. Now, this is just a fun route. Don't get mad at me. I made a fun school bus route. And this fun school bus route goes over to the high school and drops off in front of the high school. It's just a fun route. Uh, one of my main problems is this right here. They will not use the right hand lane. Both of these lanes are are being told that they can go forward. Okay. I'll just I'll show you, just to prove, okay? Just to prove. They are told that they can go forward in both lanes, okay? But they aren't doing it for some reason. And I don't know why. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of this. Hold on. Stop that. Pause the simulation here. I don't know which one is which. Oh, it's... Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, so this one right here... I, I don't know. I think it has something to do with this traffic light right here. Um, I think. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'm not good at these things. I'm not good with these things right here. But I don't quite know what the deal is with it. And why they won't use both lanes. I have I have zero clue. Um, whoops. Uh -huh, hold on a second. I gotta redo my traffic light now.
Out of curiosity, what what would happen if I just put a a bog standard traffic light on this? I want to I just I want to know what's the deal and why they won't use this lane right here. Um, it's, it's a struggle I know a lot of people have. I'm not the only one who has that struggle, but it is causing me a lot of issues right now with them not using both lanes. They just they just won't do it. They only use this lane to turn, even though it is set that way. And before somebody says it, I do have, or at least I did have these. Yeah, see? It can go that way, it can go that way, go that way, it can go that way. So my lane connectors are also set up and correct. Uh, they just... It just won't do it. They just won't use that stupid thing. Oh, I do. I am missing one connection right here. Unfortunately, it looks like got to connect him up there. I have a flying, a flying bus. And I uh, see. I I had this stuff connected up. Um, I did have this stuff connected up. Okay, it looks like everything is fixed again. Yeah, everything's fixed again. So yeah, anyways, I don't know why they won't use that lane. It's driving me absolutely bonkers. If anyone can can tell me how to solve that with before I go try to figure out the next episode, I will be very, very grateful because it is causing me a lot of backups. Um, I also probably need to think about adding a traffic light in right here at this busy little intersection. And so far, our little plan with having the access roads and our commercial off of the main road and off onto this side road seems to be working okay. Again, it's not something that I really like doing. Um, I just like plopping my commercial and making it look better. But I just don't have time to do that all the time. Otherwise, we'll be right here for the next like 10 episodes trying to make a commercial area. And we have we have a massive, we have a huge map to fill in. I've barely done anything. We have a huge map to fill in. I can't sit here and do it all. So I don't know. We'll think about it. So guys and gals, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Take care.